Hey all Alga Nation, and welcome to the second installment of Twisted Pencil. This is where I showcase heroes, creatures, and god knows what else that have been oozing out of my brain. And maybe, just maybe, there might be a little story at the end. So without further ado, let's see what creatures have flown out of my brain this time. Firstly we have... The Death Master. As you can see, he is a slasher villain. That comes from the lines of Jason Voorhees and Michael Myers among others. As you can see, he's got a skull mask with uh, one exposed eye. And his uh, weapon here is actually inspired by something called a halberd. And um, he's got a skull on the bottom for hitting people in the head with. Now, of course, every slasher villain has to have a secret identity. But this guy's identity is so secret, even I don't know who he is. And I created him. It's kind of disturbing, actually. Nope, nope. Halloween's over. We're not doing that music again. Okay, that was a bit disturbing. So let's ease things up with a more cartoony villain. Dr. Isaac Cornelius. He is a blind mad scientist who regains the ability to see thanks to this giant mechanical eye that was implanted on his forehead. Kind of looks like he belongs on the Disney Channel, doesn't he? And lastly, we have Elementius. He is a statue that is brought to life by placing this ruby necklace around his neck. And as you can see, he has the power of all four major elements. Fire, water, earth, and air. Okay, okay, his name is unimaginative, but I think he looks pretty cool. It's story time. I've actually written a short summary for my very own episode of Family Guide. Want to hear? <clears throat> In this parody of the remake of The Fly, starring Jeff Goldblum, Brian Griffin once again becomes the guinea pig in one of Stewie's experiments. This time he wants Brian to test out a teleportation pot. At first it seems the experiment was a success, but it is later discovered that a single piece of human DNA accidentally got left in the teleportation pot with Brian. As the episode goes on, Brian gradually becomes more and more human with human hair growing out of his back, his tail and ears falling off, his fur falling out, etc. Near the end of the episode, Brian's jaw falls off, triggering the final transformation into a human. And his human form resembles, wait for it, Seth MacFarlane! What? Oh, come on! That's too obvious not to work! So, that's about it. Like and subscribe if you want to see more, and I guess I'll see you next week.